I wanted a career in something that I knew would be 100% useful to people and 100% and uh, positive in, in, in the way it contributed to society and power. Uh, power it was not a popular major at that point, which struck me as an opportunity because I figured there was going to be a shortage of power engineers, which indeed there were or was. So I made a good choice and uh, I would certainly, uh, I, I've thought many, many times of what uh, a, a, one, a unique industry, the electric power industry is in, in the sense that if you are, there is a, uh, there's a limited number of electric utility companies. I mean, each area has one so that if you are specialized in operations or planning or design or something, uh, and you get into, you get to know people all over the world in your specialty. It's a very satisfying way to spend your career. So I would certainly make that choice again. I think the same logic applies now. Math is like a language, I think. Uh, you, you can, um, well, I, I, I described how a transformer works, for example. Um, you can have any, any number of physical phenomena explained to you in, in simple physics and, and think you understand how they work. Uh, and in many cases, that's enough. Uh, if, if you're really interested in using a technology, uh, either optimizing it for your application or what to me is even more interesting, in challenging it and wondering if there's a better way to do it or whether there's something in it that don't, no one else has seen. Uh, the only way you can do that is to represent it mathematically. Uh, and that, that to me is where the... Uh, the excitement comes. Uh, I, I can't conceive of going into a DC problem, a transmission line problem that I've talked about, without understanding the mathematical basis of it. It's like a, of the ability to see or not see with glasses or without glasses, unless you can s picture it mathematically, uh, you don't really understand it.